Hi everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my sculpting channel. For some of you who have been watching my show, any any show in my channel, thank you so much. And for some of you who are new here, thank you, welcome. I'm going to be talking about Bruce. Bruce is my most recent commission piece. This piece will be a surprise gift for somebody. It's actually the person who, who requested me to create this piece is for their parents. Bruce's dog mom. Uh, that was one of my very first few commission piece from the same person who asked me to recreate Bruce. I, I can see a lot of improvement from the very first time that I've sculpted. So the my point of this is that if any one of you are trying to learn this and you are getting frustrated or if you're thinking this is too much for you to learn, this is for only artistic people or creative people, uh, that's not true. That is not true at all. And for some of you that might think you need 10 years of experience, you need to be doing this 10 years or more in order to reach this kind of level of quality that is not true at all i don't believe that because i believe everyone can learn quickly so for example you did a technique okay it works it, ooh, it, it it shows really well that's effective you save that in your memory and the next time you create another piece you're applying that success in your next piece but on the other hand, if you're also creating a piece and you're, make, you're making a mistake, you're making mistakes here and you realize that's not going to work, you also remember that, you also uh, save that in your memory so that next time you create a piece, you don't do it again or maybe you, don't, you do it or maybe when you apply that mistake, you know how to fix it. It's actually every single time you create a new piece, we are constantly actively thinking about what improvement we need from the previous one. Not the quantity of work that we have to make. So yeah, also quantity will help because that's when we apply the new learned skills or the, the mistakes, the, the things that we learned from the previous one. We need quantity in order for us to apply that. It's really up to the individual how how much of an improvement they want to do or they want to apply from the previous piece to the next piece. For any one of you who have started creating your own dogs and pets, I also added a new product in my educational commerce website and these are miniature 3D printed dog tags. They're blank, they're all white, but you, you can paint them and just like this. Visit my website doggobake.com and I post there my newest product. You can buy this by by bulk. There are also dog tags and the buckle of the dog collar. And that's it. That's really quick. This is a really short video. If you have not watched the Doggo Bake Show, I recommend you watching it. All my show, you can binge watch on it. To be honest with you, my very first few videos of the Doggo Bake Show, it was not as good because it was my first time. It, uh, you know, this is my basically my first few videos of me doing a show. So, and I wasn't as comfortable yet looking at the camera and talking in front of the camera. But as as the more and more I create these shows, I'm getting better with my English and I'm getting better with talking to you. <laughs> so, just be patient. And I, I try my best to make these videos very entertaining and very educational for you and your family so that it entices you and encourage you to sculpt your own dogs or your own pets. I hope you have a good day. Watch 
the sculpting video of Bruce and it will show you how I created Bruce's sculpture. Come back to my channel and find this thumbnail right here. I'll see you next Friday for another dog.